Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's super excited about today's live Q&A and who we have today. I'm super, super excited. Can't wait. So without further ado, before we get started, I just want to explain why we've created this live Q&A every Thursday at 4 p.m. So when the pandemic started back in March, um, my team and I were sitting around wondering, well, how do we get back to our community, uh, especially dealing with real estate? We could, you know, give food, give money, and so forth like that. But we really wanted to go a step further, and that is let's educate those about real estate during this pandemic and all that they can learn. So that's what we've created. That's what today is all about. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Azumi. Azumi is part of my team. Thank God. I'm grateful to have her. And Azumi, take it away. Thank you. Thank you, Danica. And I am so grateful to have Steve. I was telling Danica, Steve, that, you know, I am here because I think you're responsible for this. Um, that, you know, when I shop for living homes as a photographer, you really inspired me. And, and I got on this path of, you know, becoming a green builder. And now I've been really trying to to promote the sustainable design home. So I really owe it to you and thank you so much. Um, so I'm gonna introduce Steve. Steve Glenn is a founder and CEO of Plant Prefab. And Plant Prefab is the nation, na nation's first prefabricated design and manufacturing company dedicated to sustainable construction, materials, process, processes and operations, and it was uh, spun out of Living Homes, a sustainable design development company responsible for dozens of award-winning prefabricated homes, including the national nation's first LEED Platinum certified home, which Steve is now sitting in, and my background is also upstairs of where he's sitting. So uh, we have limited time, so we're gonna dive right into the question, Steve. So, um, uh, the most uh, common questions I get from people is the difference between prefab and manufactured home. Um, if you can kind of define uh, what prefab homes are, that would be great. Well, pre prefab is um, an industry term and it includes manufactured homes. It, mm -hmm. it actually covers four major building systems, um, manufactured homes, modular homes, panelized homes, and pre-cut uh, or kit homes. Mm -hmm. So prefab is a is a is a um, uh, a, a, a meta uh, term that describes those four major systems. Right. So your question might be, what's the difference between manufactured and modular? Um, so manufactured, um, that's uh, uh, a a designation that indicates that the home is. Uh, created in conformance with uh, housing and urban development, HUD code. Um, as such, they can't be permanently attached to a foundation. They have to be movable. Uh, cities can and do um, uh, specify where you can have mobile homes. That's what they're commonly known as, mobile homes. Um, banks can discriminate in financing because um, they're more, frankly, like cars than a home. Mm -hmm. In contrast, a modular home built in big Lego pieces, big modules that are built off site and, and totally, uh, craned into place on site, um, that conforms with local building code. They cannot be discriminated against they can, uh, with respect to zoning or financing. Uh, right. That's also true with panelized or, or pre cut or kit homes. Mm -hmm. So, HUD code or manufactured homes trailers, those are the only ones that have very specific requirements about where they can go and how they get financed. So, so uh, homes like uh, pre -plant prefab homes are considered normal SFR. It's no different from um, uh, traditionally built SFR, correct? Exactly. Um, yep. A, a, a modular home, which we do modules and panels, mm -hmm. legally in California, and we built in other states, same is true there. Legally, they're considered the same as a site built home. There's no disclosure requirements on title. Um, again, we have to conform to all local building code. They uh, are zoning, I should say. We, we, um, they can't be excluded anywhere, and mm -hmm. banks cannot 
exclude them from financing. So yeah, for all intents and purposes, they're the same. Thank you. So, so this is my favorite questions. Can you discuss some of the benefits of the prefabs or modular homes such as plant prefab? Yeah. Um, well, so um, I'll speak generally and then um, talk about us specifically. Mm -hmm. um, when you build off-site construction, prefab construction, uh, first of all, you get to build in parallel to the site work, right? Normally, um, when you build on a traditional process, it's very linear. Um, so first you have to do um, grading and then foundation, then utilities, then framing, then electrical plumbing, finish work. So it's a long process, it's a linear process. And um, uh, so you, uh, there can be weather delays, um, subs can be over scheduled, can extend the, your whole uh, construction time, which is why you commonly hear, you know, count on it taking twice as much time as you, as you thought. In parallel with, with what we do as the site work is happening on site, we're building off-site um, uh, in parallel. So that's why it can take half the time. Um, and we're building in an indoor facility. Um, uh, so no weather delays. It's uh, full-time staff. So no issues with subs who don't show up. Um, we're located, our factory, our first factory is located in Rialto, uh, California, which is about halfway between LA and Palm Springs. And we pay our, our workers a great living wage. Um, those same folks can make two to three times as much uh, working on the west side of LA or in Northern California, mm -hmm. where costs are, are much more. You can buy a new home in Rialto, new home in the thousands. Right. So that's another advantage. Uh, mm -hmm. It can be lower cost. Not always, it depends on what you're doing and where. Mm -hmm. All we should save time can be lower cost. And then with us, we're very focused on sustainability and health and we do a lot to reduce the ecological footprint of our homes to make sure that they're um, as healthy as possible. So those are some of the benefits you get building mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. And so I think you have uh, told me before how, um, how the your plant prefab product especially really works well in the urban market such as LA um, is that correct is uh, well it can I, work anywhere it's mm -hmm. just that um, there the demand for custom architectural homes right. happen more in urban markets mm -hmm. uh, out in communities mm -hmm. um, that's where we see the greatest demand and right. those Places can be the most expensive and the right. hardest to get, um, right. contractors. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can we can can you discuss in average? I know it could vary from the where the site is and uh, all the other factors. But is there any average square footage cost that you can discuss? Yeah, I honestly don't know. I mean, we we do everything from accessory dwelling units to. Mm -hmm. uh, We've done a 16 unit multifamily. So mm -hmm. the prices for the modules from the factory have ranged from $135 to $400 plus right. per square foot. I see. And, you I know, see. tack on another 40 to 50% for site work and transportation and installation right. to, get the, the, to get the hard costs. Right, right. So you just said the magic word ADU. Um, have, have you noticed uh, any increase in demand for the ADU with your mm -hmm. company? We have for sure, yeah. And um, ha, uh, where have you been installing those mostly? Um, Everywhere. Northern and Southern California. Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. I I think um, when after the Usley fire, I went to your uh, panel, uh, uh, not the panel, the presentation to talk to the victims of the fires. Um, did you find that the ADU, the way that you approach them to build the ADU while they're actually working on the main house, uh, was that a, a popular uh, solutions for many people? Uh, no, most people, we, we did it for one client and his, mm -hmm. his ADU was installed a couple yeah. months ago, actually yeah. back in um, uh, May. Is it May? Yeah, May. Okay. Uh, but um, 
Uh, no, most people are just moving forward with their homes. Okay. Okay. That are with us. I, I don't know about right. others. Sure. So tell me, you know, you mentioned the what differentiates plant prefab from other module or what we what we call prefab uh, homemakers. Uh, what really differentiate you, you, your company? Maybe yeah. some of the specifics. Yeah, so some of the companies out there, um, uh, like Connect Homes, great mm -hmm. company, they do just do standards, A, B, or C, and they're the mm -hmm. architect. Right. Um, we're more focused on custom. Um, mm -hmm. and we work with any architect. I mean, we have in, in our um, uh, a marketplace, uh, if you go to plantprefab.com and click on mm -hmm. living homes, you'll see a number of standard homes, right. great architects like Ray mm -hmm. Cat. Right, and Kieran Timberlake and mm -hmm. Scarpa, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Kodo Design out of the UK. So we do do that, but um, mostly um, we um, uh, customize uh, our, those designs, and then we can work with any architect. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so uh, as long as they design to our design guidelines, right we can build for them. So um, that, that's a big point of differentiation. Yeah. And um, as I said, our focus on health and sustainability is, is, is pretty, um, pretty different. Um, this is the first home ever certified lead platinum in the history of the program. Mm -hmm. Lead mm -hmm. is building certification program. There are uh, four levels of certification. It's point-based. So you get points for things that make your home more energy or, or, or uh, uh, water, Mm -hmm. uh, efficient, more uh, efficient from a material resource right. standpoint, uh, better indoor air quality. Based on that, you can get certified silver, gold, platinum. Right. This is the first one ever, um, not just prefab, the first home ever to be certified platinum. And we've had um, almost 30 homes certified platinum, which is way more than wow. a firm or prefabricator. So that, that's another big point of differentiation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the things that I most admire about about your company. Um, so when you mentioned that you, any you work with any architect. So what does that process look like? So do most of your clients um, come to you knowing that they want the prefab or do they, come, do they go to architects and then they discuss the prefab as one of the options? Or what would be the most ideal scenario for uh, homeowners or developers who acquire the land or do they even just consider prefab before they acquire the land? What's, what's the best scenario? Well, I, I, I don't, I don't know about what's best. It kind of mm -hmm. depends on. Or common maybe. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not. So all the above. Um, okay. We get, we get people, you know, home building your own home mm -hmm. is an impulse buy. People do right. a lot of research. They, right. they tend to hear about the problems that, People have traditional ways, the schedule mm -hmm. ways, the change orders, mm -hmm. um, and to hear about prefab and um, how that can be faster and, and more predictable. And so we have people who are going to their architects to say, hey, I want to do this prefab. And we have architects, particularly those we've worked with, who are referring clients. So it happens both ways. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's ideal is for us, so we, we quite often get plans that are at a schematic level mm -hmm. that we review and say, well, here's, here's how we would do this prefab. So they were, maybe were designed in a traditional way, particularly if the architects right. never did that before. And, we're, and we say, well, you know, here's the things we would do to build this um, with, with prefab. We, we, we see that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it, it, there are changes at times in dimensions that need to be mm -hmm. made work uh, most efficiently um, it's best to do that before engineering because mm -hmm. it gets more expensive to do it after we have done it after engineering oh really it's, re yeah. it's just takes mm -hmm. time and money but right. um, it's it's expensive and it can take a long time to do this a traditional way right so so far what are your um client base like Proportion-wise, do uh, most of them homeowners themselves, or uh, do you work with a lot of developers? What's the uh, percentage? Yeah, we have both. Um, I, I don't know the percentage, um, but we, we have both. Um, we have, we both. have both. 
Okay. So one of the things that I have been um, sort of struggling with, uh, I am trying to speak to the developers or um, people who are actually building may not, may not be necessarily homeowners. And um, the, the kind of a resistance I get is, uh, you know, they don't know what the, the this prefab process looks like and um they also think that it's more expensive what i what's your perception of the market in terms of receptivity of prefab uh modular homes in in your experience like um i mean we're the busiest we've ever been and we've grown since March and we're going to be building two new factories over the next that's, two months. That's great. Congratulations. Yeah. It, yeah. It, yeah. About the <laughs> too, but, uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. glad to hear that. So did you say since March? Yeah. We've grown. In pa pandemic. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that pandemic has anything to do with it? A little bit just because we happen to have a big project, a 25 unit project in Lake Tahoe and oh, wow. is, is on fire. They just can't build them quick enough. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of that is, um, you know, and this has been widely reported, people now feeling greater flexibility about where they can live and, right. and increased interest in, in having mm -hmm. second homes. So mm -hmm. I think to a certain degree, but mostly the housing industry is, is so far in good shape. It, you yeah. know, is yeah. a, are increasing um, year over year. And um, so we're, 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 we're benefiting from that. Mm -hmm. So going back to ADU, um, do you, with the new law and state, uh, it, it feels like there's a lot of ADU um, discussion. And how how do you think that this modular, especially plant prefab, stand in terms of the ADU market? Do you do you see that the ADU is going to be uh, going with with your company like plant prefab? Is that a great? I'm sure it's a great option, but what can you say about that? Um, well, as I mentioned, we 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 have a bunch of ADU projects we've done. A number we have a, a bunch that we're working on we we are seeing a lot more interest and mm -hmm. ADUs is no different than any any house mm -hmm. on site mm -hmm. if you're going to build it on site there's just there's more complexity it can take more time it can it, it, it so um uh, uh we can be a, a a quicker solution and depending upon where you are it can be lower cost mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cost is not always an advantage. It depends on what you're doing and where. Mm -hmm. um, um, but yeah, we're, we're, we are seeing a lot of interest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I am so glad to have this conversation with you. And you mentioned that you have two more plant uh, factory opening, and that's also in Rialto? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, and nor do we have, I, I mentioned over the next couple of years, we'll be. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. I see. So the re mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Space. Yeah, and so the Rialto uh, factories, you said it's it remained in operation all this time. Um, are you still doing the tour? I. Um, we don't. We do not have open public tours. We are doing them extraordinarily selectively for people mm -hmm. who are very, very serious near-term clients. I um, see. We're obviously very concerned about COVID. I see. Um, so mm -hmm. it's, um, it's nothing we're doing. Um, uh, we, we, we used to have this show home open right. for two years on Fridays, my home, mm -hmm. uh, and the factory every Wednesday and, and Saturday. So as I said, because of COVID, it's all. It's right. All right. So private. then the best way that people can get to know about your company is the website plantprefab.com. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of information there. Yeah. Okay. I do have a question, Azumi, if you don't mind. Um, no, just not at all. You, Steve, if you don't mind, I know you've touched on it, but maybe it's a, a one-liner or one, uh, one sentence description. If there are agents right now watching this and they have clients that are interested about having a prefab home, what is the best way for an agent to describe what your company is and how it differs from your competitors. 
um, we do custom high quality sustainable homes and most competitors don't. Great, that's perfect. And I really appreciate you sharing that because I think there's a lot of realtors out there and investors that don't know enough about it and don't know how to talk about it on an intellectual point of view and the, the pros and cons behind it. So that's excellent. <laughs> you obviously know what you're doing. Yeah, he's been at it for some time and yes. yeah. And, and, and you mentioned that you're opening up other um, factories. What other, where are the other factories opening? Just so people can hear that as well. Uh, we're looking at sites that range from uh, Sacramento to San Bernardino County. Um, we're looking for 250,000 square feet. So, um, awesome. yeah. That's awesome. Do you, do you install out of state, Steve? Do you, um, yeah. you do? Like yep. it, it can go basically anywhere as long as the truck can carry <laughs> the transport. Exactly. But, the, but the further away it is, the more it adds to the transportation. Right, obviously. Mm -hmm. it, the carbon it, footprint as well. The, the cost and it right. becomes less economic. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Great. Well, I'm going to definitely put your website and um, that's the best way for people to learn more about what your company does. The, the last question I want to ask uh, before Azumi asks her last questions is you talk about you work with architects, but if somebody was to come to your company and say, Steve, do you have an architect? I just want a prefab home. Here's my money. I just want a prefab home. Do you, ha do you have that ability to work with people like that and give them architects? Yeah, well, so what I mentioned earlier is there, there are two general ways people work with us. Online at planprefab.com under living homes, we have a growing number of standardized homes from um, world class architects, as I mentioned, Ray Cappy and Ken Timberlake and Kodo and, and Brooke Scarpa, uh, Eve Bahar, who's an industrial designer. So you can pick one of those. Okay. Um, and we, you can have it standard or we can customize it. So that's one way of working with us. So the answer is yes, and they're there, they're online. Okay. Um, and some of the models you can actually configure like a car, which is kind of cool with finishes and fixtures you select and you can move through in a, in a 3D real-time environment and see what it's like. Oh, and wow. Then, um, uh, or you can select any architect and, and we can work with, with them. That's great. That's very, thank you for explaining that. And, and so people understand that. I really appreciate that. Sure. Well, thank you so much, Steve. I, I, I always um, get inspired talking to you, so I appreciate your time. And, and thank you so much for spending this time. And I'm sorry the live stream didn't work out, but we'll po post it. And so we can all put it on our individual Facebook page and everything else. Awesome. Yeah, no, no, no problem. Uh, my, you know, my pleasure to be with you guys. And um, um, I, I, I appreciate your, your support and ongoing support and interest and photographs, by the way. Yeah. And, um, thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Azumi. And I'll make thank sure you. And we'll send you the link, Steve, so you can post it. Uh, okay, will do. Great. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.